guys, Kelly here, and today I wanted to share with you my January book haul. And I wasn't planning on getting a lot of books in 2019, but I was given some stuff for Christmas, like some gift cards, and had a few books I wanted to get besides that. So here we are with an actually pretty large book haul. Hopefully I will taper this down a little bit because I do want to kind of read a lot of the books I already have. But you know, when you're given a gift card, just so exciting to go and like use it. So here we go. I have, I will do my book outlet, which is what I got the gift card from at the end. I'll start with the other ones first. And before I start the book haul, just so you know, if you haven't seen my videos before, when I do a haul, whenever I have any books come into my life, whether I buy them or get them, I donate a dollar for each book to a charity that has to do with um, books or education or literacy and my charity for this month is books for MKs and I got this charity idea from another booktuber her name is Kaylee and her channel is actually called books for MKs because she is the founder of this charity and what she does is um, she collects money through a fund me account for books for MKs and she sends books to missionary kids and that's what MKs stand for and so these are kids that are living all over the world with their families as missionaries and they might not have access to English speaking books since they are in foreign countries and she was a missionary kid when she was a child and just really loved reading but didn't have access to access to a lot of books so this is just her way of being able to give back and send books to these missionary children so I decided I see her promote this charity at the beginning of every single one of our videos and I just really wanted to be able to support her she gives a hundred percent of the donations to these these books that she sends so that's who I am donating to this time I will link her channel and her um, also her kind of nonprofit website down below if you want to check her out so let's get right into the books. And the first few are ones I got through Amazon. And I don't usually buy through Amazon, but they were ones that I had looked other places for like um, discounted copies and just couldn't find them. And I needed them, for, needed them for one reason or another. So I bought them from Amazon. And the first two are from the same series. And I got these because the first one I'm doing as a buddy read this month. So I wanted it. I didn't want to use a library copy because I felt like it might take me a long time to read this. And I just really wanted a paperback version. And that was Mistborn, The Final Empire, which is the first in the trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. And I also went ahead and got the second one because Amazon was having a deal around Christmas of a, if you buy a book for, I think it, like a certain amount, I think it was for $10, you can buy another one and get it five dollars off or something I don't know it was a deal and so I ended up getting both the first one the final empire and the well of ascension because they were on sale on Amazon and with that I did not buy the third one yet because I want to actually at least read the first one before I decide if I want to buy the third one I just happened to get the second one because of the deal and the next thing I got on Amazon was the realms of the gods by Tamara Pierce this is the fourth book and the immortals and I have the first three. I haven't read them yet, but I think I'm really going to like them. They're a middle grade fantasy series, but I had them all in this cover and I couldn't find this one at Book Outlet in this cover. So that's why I just ended up buying it from Amazon because I wanted the matching cover. And then the next one I got because it was recommended to me by one of my favorite booktubers and my friend Murphy Napier. And that is Duel of Fire by Jordan Rivet. And this is a self-published novel so the only place I've seen that you can get them is from Amazon though I see now that she has her books as audiobooks on Scribd so if I really love this one I'll decide whether I want to buy the next ones or if I want to listen to them on Scribd and this is a fantasy series that has five books in it and it is about a female character who is a duelist meaning she duels with swords and there's also a magic system I've heard these are really excellent um, Murphy has read the first couple and then my friend Jen from the book refuge she has read I think for the first four and said that they're really excellent and so I just am excited to support an independent author and get started into a fun fantasy novel and then the last one from Amazon is Much Ado About Nothing by Shakespeare. And <laughs> I got this one because I had recently read a Shakespeare retelling and I just 
or uh, a much ado about nothing retelling and it's my favorite of Shakespeare's plays and I haven't read it in about like 10 or 15 years I've seen the movie more recently but I haven't actually read the play since I think college and so I really wanted to read it again and I saw these covers um what edition is this this is the pelican Shakespeare um they have a bunch of them with these kind of colors and the color background is different I think the tragedies are black and the histories might be red or something like that and then all the comedies have this like pale blue background and I just thought this was really pretty so I wanted to get this one and this edition see how I like reading this edition and if I like it I might buy more Shakespeare plays in this specific edition and then the next couple are books I got from my library sale. My library sells paperbacks for 50 cents. So if I see one I like or want to try out, I just pick it up because 50 cents, you know. And it supports the library. And the first one is Speak by Lori Halsey Anderson. And this, I believe, is a young adult book about a girl who has gone through either rape or sexual assault and kind of what happens like how she deals with it afterwards and a lot of people read this I don't really know any more details about it but I've seen it around it's very short and for 50 cents I thought I would try it and then the next one I had never even heard of this book but I've heard the author and it is Uprising by Margaret Peterson Haddix and I've read a few of her books she writes middle grade books mostly series but this seems like a standalone and this is about a um, young immigrant girl in the 19 I think it like 1911 who you know immigrates to America and ends up working in a factory and it's about the conditions uh, in the factories at that time and the workers the things they had to go through and I'm assuming that she will be leading an uprising of some sort and it just sounded like a female power historical fiction kind of book so it sounded interesting and then the next two are books that were given to me not necessarily as Christmas presents but just given to me by people who had read them friends and they enjoyed them and the first one is from my sister-in-law she read a log cabin Christmas and sent it to me and it is like a anthology of different like pioneer short stories that are evolved around Christmas and she said it was just a nice Christmas read I didn't get it to it this Christmas because she actually gave it to me on Christmas Day so I thought I'll just wait till next Christmas to read it and then the next one is Origin by Dan Brown, which this is the most recent book in his Robert Langdon series, which is the one that has Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. And I have read the first four books in the series, and so I wanted to read this one, but I didn't necessarily need to own a copy of it, but then my best friend, she read it, and she's like, well, you could just have my copy and read it. So I got this from her. And then next are, is my big book outlet order. Like I said, this was... I got a gift card from my husband because he told me he was not going to buy me books for Christmas and then he gave me a gift card. I'm assuming he just didn't want to pick out a book for me. And first I have a bunch of fantasy type books and if a lot of these are ones I don't know a lot about but they were recommended to me by other booktubers so if they are recommended to me I will tell you who those booktubers are so that you can check out their opinions about these books and they're all really great booktubers I love so I will make sure to mention them. The first one is Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge and I've been meaning to read one of her books. She does like fairy tale retellings. I believe this one is Beauty and the Beast and I was recommended this by Kara from Wild Book Garden and she reads a lot of fairy tale retellings and I've read a lot of the books that she's recommended and enjoyed. This one gets mixed reviews so I'm not for sure but I figured for like the like 350 or whatever I paid for it that I could give it a try. And the next one is Thick as Thieves by Megan Wallen Turner and this is one of the latest books in the Queen's Thief series. I own the rest of the books and I, this one had just recently come out in paperback so I just wanted to pick it up. I actually have only read the first book in the series. The next one is The Great Pursuit by Wendy Higgins and this is the second in a duology. I think it's called the Eurona duology. That's like the town or kingdom that is in these books and I read the first one The Great Hunt and I really enjoyed it so I wanted to end out the duology and this is just about the first one is about a kingdom who is being plagued by a wild beast and so they create this great hunt to have somebody kill the beast and that the reward is hand in marriage to the princess and then this is taking place after that the next one is The Lost Kingdom of Bamar by Gail Carson Levine and this is actually a pr 
prequel to a book I read recently, which was The Two Princesses of Bamar. And I really enjoyed that. I think I gave it five stars. It was a great middle grade fantasy novel. And since it's a prequel, I just thought I would check it out. This does not, from what I can tell, have any of the same characters. It takes place like in the past from the events in the other book. And the next two are sci-fi books. Yeah. And the first one was also recommended to me by Kara from Wild Book Garden. And that is A Feast and Beauty by Stacey J. And this is another... Beauty and the Beast retelling, but more of a sci-fi version of it. And then the next one is Last Day on Mars by Kevin Emerson. I believe this is a trilogy. I don't know if, if it only has three books in the series, but I think it also is middle grade about the Earth in the future when, or people in the future when they no longer can live on Earth, they move to Mars while they're colonizing another planet that's much farther away. And this is at the point when they're moving to that other colony, so... Mars is being deserted as well and these are the last like people that are on Mars before they move to this other planet. And then I have a one nonfiction book and this was A Stolen Life by JC Duggard. This is about a girl who was kidnapped when she was a teenager I believe and l lived in captivity for 18 years. And this is her story of her life like that she also gave birth I don't remember if she has multiple children but you know she was forced into being a mother and all that while she was being held hostage and um, this was recommended to me by Alex from Alex Black and I really um, whenever Alex recommends a nonfiction book I tend to look into it because she has really good recommendations for nonfiction Next one is a middle grade, I believe it is just like a contemporary book called Kira Kira. And this is about two sisters and that have a really close relationship and one of them becomes ill. And this was also recommended to me by Kara from Wild Book Garden and when she described it, it just sounded like a beautiful, heartbreaking book. So I wanted to try it out. Next one is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I'm sure most of you know what this is about. It is a dystopian. It has become kind of a modern classic and just a lot of people talk about it and I just wanted to check it out. Then I have The Dry by Jane Harper. This is the beginning of a series that's kind of crime series with a federal agent as the like main character. And this is the beginning one where this federal agent um, returns to his hometown because his best friend from childhood is found dead and so he's kind of I think figuring out what happened to his friend. Then I have a couple of contemporaries. One of them is This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills and I don't really know much about this but people talk about Emma Mills a lot so I wanted to give her a try so I don't really know anything about it. And the other one I have already read it's Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett and I read this a few months ago. You're okay. You're okay, Eliza. Eliza's playing in a box, and now she's decided she wants attention. And I really love this book. It was a five-star book for me, and so since I read it from the library, or actually I read it as an audiobook, I wanted to have the physical copy. And we're down to two more. Eliza, you can wait. And the next one is A Book of American Martyrs by Joyce Carol Oates. And when I picked this up, I was like, this book is huge. I did not expect this book to be huge. And then I realized that this is a large print edition. And I went back and checked book, book Outlet, and they did explicitly say on there, large print edition, and I just missed it. So now I have a very easy reader, but huge book to read. And this is a modern contemporary about, two, I think it's modern, about two families, but it also revolves around abortion, because one of the characters is a man who kills an abortion doctor. So I think it has a lot of like the politics about abortion and all that in it as well. It just sounded to be a really good book. And then the last one is a graphic memoir and it is Cancer Victim by Marissa Oche... I had not practiced how to say this word, her name. So we're just gonna say Marissa Marchetto. And I have found that graphic memoirs are my favorite type as opposed to necessarily graphic novels. I really enjoy that version so I had I don't remember who recommended this on their channel, but I, it seems like an interesting um, book. There's some of the illustrations and wanted to check it out. One thing about Book Outlet is they usually tell you if something is damaged. Like they'll say it's a scratch and dent. This one did come with a slit in the back. I don't know if you could see that. There's like actual cut 
in the back, but it has a sticker on it that says, this book is, does not meet our quality standards. If you're not happy with it, contact us. So they would replace it. I have had that happen before. And when I told them I was not happy with the quality, they sent me a new book free of charge. Um, but this one, I don't, since it's their last copy, that's what it says also in the stickers, the last copy, they won't be able to send me a new one. So I could return it and get my money back. But I figure I'll just tape it. It's not that bad. So I'm going to keep it. But I just want to let you know that they do have quality standards, even though they're doing kind of like um, books that are overstocked. So they will tell you if they're damaged. And if they come damaged, they will replace it or give you your money back. So it is a great company, I think, to work with because you can get books for a really good deal. But if you see something on there you really want, buy it pretty quickly because a book can be there one day and the next day is gone because they just kind of put things up as they get them. So that's my book haul. Um, if I mention any booktubers, I will put them down below. And also I will put the link to Books for MKs, which Missionary Kids, down below if you want to check out that charity. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Bye.